Hello, uh, this is a very important video when uh, you set up your own inverters in parallel, whether you have 28 kilowatts or 25 kilowatts, you have to follow this procedure. Please try to watch all the video from start uh, to end, it's very important. Number one, we connect the parallel cables from serial port one to serial port two and from serial port two to serial port one. That's a cross connection between the two inverters. Second step, current sharing cables. This is one to one connection from port one to port one and port two to port two. Then you switch to menu 28 and you set the inverter to PAL28 and again PAL28. So this is our slave inverter. And this is our master inverter. It's flashing with H's. And the slave inverter is flashing with SL. Before you go into menu 28, you have to switch on the AC input only. AC output should be off. Don't press this button. Don't activate the AC output of the inverter. Don't connect batteries. Simply AC input and start the paralleling process. When the signal is, is flashing, HS and PSL, then you can uh, activate your inverters in full. The second step after uh, the paralleling process of uh, the two inverters is the connection of the BMS. The BMS cable is connected only to the primary or master inverter. This is the BMS cable and it has to be a special one that is compatible with uh, the RS485 serial communication protocol. You shouldn't connect any canvas cable, you shouldn't connect any random cable. You have to get this specific one from, uh, from Voltacon. And this cable is wired only on the master inverter. The slave inverter doesn't have a BMS cable. As you can see, there is no BMS cable. This is a cable for our uh, solar system, that's for monitoring. Now, back to the primary battery or master battery. And as you can see, first dip switch up, second, third and fourth dip switch down. That's our primary or master battery and that's our BMS cable to the RS485. Our inverters uh, don't communicate with the CAN bus. You have to be sure that the BMS is connected to the RS485 only. Then it's quite straightforward. We get uh, the, the signal from port 1 to port 0, port 1, port 0. So we link all the batteries from the first to the last using the cables provided. Once you wired up everything and you have your communication fully established, you go to menu 5 and you set PYL for the master inverter, menu 5 on uh, the slave inverter, and you set to USE or USE. So PYL, menu 5, and USE, again, menu 5. Successful pairing means that the um, the battery icon is flashing. You can see here our battery is flashing. So that means it works. Now it is 100% safe to switch on your system provided that you've done the wiring properly. The AC input is terminated only to the AC input of the inverter. The incoming grid supply is terminated only to the AC input. I have to repeat that. It's extremely important. And the AC output will feed your loads, the consumer unit, anything uh, related to uh, appliances at home. But you shouldn't mix the neutrals from the AC input to the AC output. Keep the uh, uh, installation completely decoupled, let's say, between the incoming power and the outgoing power. If you have any questions, please uh, get in touch with Voltagon. We will be pleased to assist you. Thank you.